like a Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday Jams with Dave and Mike. Proudly presented by 88FM, where real music lives. Every week we're going to feature a really cool guitar and debut a style of playing unique in that instrument. Dave Charles on the slide guitar this morning, folks. Sliding into another jam. Hey! Hi. This is actually a very interesting guitar. Welcome to my place of happiness. These guitars, all of them, have a story to tell. They're all individually collected over time, and uh, not all of them are great guitars, but any, you know, I mean, classically great. But but each of them for me is is super. They've got personality, and they uh, have names. They, no, <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. Maybe uh, in the future, who knows? <laughs> I'll find a guitar with a name and I'll keep it. But no, no, each each has its place. Um, and this is an instrument that uh, is particularly interesting, so I thought maybe we'd start with it because it's a resonator. A resonator guitar it simply means that it has a device built into it that resonates with the strings and amplifies them. It was a kind of um, prohibition era jazz juke joint. Speak uh, easy. Exactly that. The, the old blues players couldn't be heard above the hubbub and general melee, so they, they created, or a very clever uh, inventor created, a type of early amplifier that went into guitars. It was called the spider and the resonator. It just took the sound of the strings and projected them. And it gave it a bit of a, a cut that you could hear above the crowd. And it's got a unique sound that people still use today, blues particularly, but all sorts of music. It's not everyone's favorite instrument. It does have a bit of a whine and a bit of a twang. So this particular guitar was uh, a collaboration between Richie Owens, who's a Nashville player, and, uh, and Washburn. Mm -hmm. uh, he designed what he considered to be a really nice uh, balanced guitar. It's all um, maple, top, sides, back, and neck, except for the fingerboard, which is rosewood. Um, it's got aluminum spider and cone, which gives a particularly bright sound. It's got a pickup, it's amplified. And the, the, the machine heads on this guitar, actually not the originals, these are the, the um, uh, GraphTech ratio machine heads. They've each got a, a different ratio depending on the thickness of the string. So it just makes tuning, open tuning, a lot quicker, a lot easier, so a that's lot a, more accurate. a pro upgrade. It's a pro upgrade, yeah. Anyway, this, uh, this is uh, the, and you play it with um, a slide. Now these come in various different materials. This happens to be a brass slide. It gives a nice sound. Yeah. But they come in, in, in chrome steel and, uh, and glass. That's what's sometimes called a bottleneck. Yeah, the original uh, bottleneck, in fact, just uh, a snap a bottle, a neck off a bottle of wine. That's kind of the right diameter. You've got a very thin finger. And uh, yeah, you can use a glass bottleneck. But not if, you, if you're going to use a slide, your tuning would typically be a little bit different. An open tuning would be what you'd Well, there are different adopt. open tunings, open D, open G traditionally, but you can actually play uh, in the standard tuning and you can play slide in standard tuning. Some people do. It's actually quite effective that way. Okay. Um, but this, is, this happens to be uh, an open tuning and it's quite a cool one. Love me. Oh, 